Hello, this is a short video about the uh, Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga 11e and its hard drive. Uh, at time of filming in the UK, when you ordered this rather excellent little laptop, you couldn't have an SSD option. <clears throat> and even if you uh, wanted to get one imported from the States or Australia or somewhere like that the maximum size was 128 gig which may not be big enough um, it's not going to be big enough for me uh, and this laptop is going to be used as sort of like a take out and about -y laptop so I don't really want a mechanical drive in it so um, this is the cheaper of the two, the £409 version it's got the 8 gig of RAM upgrade, which only was 40 quid, I think, and it's also got the 500 gig mechanical hard drive upgrade, which was £3.60. Uh, still got Windows 8.1 rather than 8.1 Pro. No need to have 8.1 Pro unless you have to join a domain, which I never do, so I went for the slightly cheaper option. Uh, there is actually a very nice and quite comprehensive online service manual for this particular model. There's a link in the comment bit at the bottom of this video. You can download the entire course. Uh, Lenovo distinguish between field replaceable units and customer replaceable units. Uh, but according to that guide, the hard drive is a customer replaceable unit. And you'll notice that on here, running around the edge of this back panel which we're going to take off there is no seal um, so technically although obviously you can't hold me to this technically removing the back panel and replacing the hard drive or swapping it out shouldn't invalidate the warranty um, unless of course you break something while you're doing it if something breaks later on then you should be covered but as I say there's no seals on there there's nothing indicating to Lenovo that you've taken the back off. Um, so let's have a look and see how you do it. On the back there are one, two, three, four, five, six captive screws. So we'll just undo those. Now this is all described in the online course, but as you're probably aware, the equipment they use in online courses has been dismantled and reassembled so many times that it practically takes itself apart. There's no stiffness of the parts. A little trick here that you need to be aware of. Notice that in the corners here there aren't any screws. You get one, two, three, four, five and six. But there's no screws here. Sort of no seven and eight. That's because around about here and here Lenovo have got a little metal catch on either side of the panel and when they assemble it that catch or those catches are actually quite stiff so you've got to be a little bit careful when you're taking this off so let's just see if we can pop it up far enough I don't have any fingernails so it's quite difficult to get perches on it once you've got it up, just release that one. And once you've got the screws out, you need to just very gently bend the corners in slightly. So you sort of do that action to curve it and it lifts off quite easily. And if I bring the camera up to the camera, can you see that there, if I just get the contrast right, see that catch there and there's also one on the other side the one on the other side is more substantial, it's got a hole in it so there's a clip there and there's a clip there so you've got to be particularly careful with that edge because you can snap the clip off from inside there so you have to bend that up unclip that and then off it comes and there it is and there's one more retaining screw here 
this will just pop off that one isn't captive so it will get lost unless you put it somewhere safe and then there's a little handle pull the little handle and just wiggle that to unplug it and there's the drive that was in it this has got a little sort of cover for itself which pops out of the screw holes it's like a little mounting bracket and that's the original hard drive which we'll put to one side and there it is that's the little guard thing we need to get the new drive and you fit the guard to it and then plug it in so this is a Samsung 850 Pro just clips on like that that's it in place quite snug that's going to go in there get the cable and we'll just plug it in although that is actually upside down so we'll just redo that they don't screw it, it just pops out and obviously because the laptop's upside down you're going to want the SSD upside down so that it's the right way up when the laptop's the right way up and then we go, that fits in like that that fits in like that now this is a 7mm SSD because the hard drive is a 7mm SSD rather than a 9mm so you're going to need to be quite specific about what you try and fit because obviously they've chosen the slimline model well, same model, flavour, probably a better word and then we just screw that in there and there it is all in nice and snugly and on the other side of there there's a couple of little foam pads as well and then we simply replace the cover sits in there get those catches in get that catch in that's it in and then we'll screw the captive screws in like that like that there's another one so it's reasonably easy to do but the videos on the service manual course make it look a lot easier and it is because you've got to watch out for that catch there remember and that catch there and that's it with the new drive fitted so we'll flip the laptop over and there it is ready to put windows on hope that's useful and uh, thanks for watching